message. Like all these people who are there, I'm just like, the girl I'm with is like, what, what, what is it? I'm like, shut up, I'm thinking. All right, here's what it is. <laughs> I go on to tell her, I'm like, half this fucking restaurant is on their phone right now. There's 100 people here, they're all on their phone. They're all on Instagram and they're all on Facebook and they're all on Snapchat. And all day long, 24 hours a day, their brains are more influenced by what's online than what's offline. I want everyone to think about that for a second. Everyone's brain in 2016 is now more influenced by what is online than what is offline. <sighs> that's fucked up. Dude, that's insane. What's wrong with humans? <laughs> They're more influenced by what's online than offline. Remember we were talking about before where we were like, uh, people will generally find confirming evidence for a prediction they think will come true. Okay, people get their predictions online now, and then they go off offline into the world, and they're just looking for confirming evidence of that prediction of that thing that they got online, right? That's all. They're, that's all they're doing. They're just using the, the real world as like this place to confirm what they believe is already true from what they got online. Dude, there's so much power. There's so much opportunity in that, though. Great episode of South Park. Who here watches South Park? Okay. I, I, I don't know exactly the exact details. I'm trying to remember exactly. But it was basically like one of the guys in the group, the, everyone started getting girlfriends. And one of the guys in the group, uh, he, like, they're all like photoshopping their pictures or some shit. And one of the girls who's like fat and ugly, she photoshops herself like from like fat, ugly, and disgusting to looking like smoking hot. And she puts this picture on her Instagram or her Facebook or whatever. And every, all the guys at school want to date her now. Because she's a hot picture on her Facebook. Like, they go up to her in real life, and she's fat, ugly, and disgusting, and they're looking at their phone, and they're like, oh, dude, she's so hot. Will you be my girlfriend? <laughs> Anyone remember this episode? Yeah. Yeah. It's the one about Photoshop. It's about, it was about Photoshop, right? That's the one with Kanye, too. Is it? Yeah, and Kim Kardashian. Yes. Okay, so you can go to Google that if you want to rewatch that episode, okay? But even, I remember at one point, the guy who actually becomes her boyfriend and starts dating her, he like prints out this picture of her, and all his friends, like one of, like, I don't know if it's Kenny or Kyle, the one who's like the, the voice of like reason in the group, he's like, dude, it's Photoshop, it's ruining everyone's life. And the guy who's the boyfriend has the picture printed out, he's like, dude, no it's not, look how hot she is, dude. <laughs> and he can't, like, he cannot disconnect what he saw online and what is offline, okay? You heard the phrase Yoho? You're only hot online. <laughs> Is that every girl? <laughs> Who here has met up a chick off of like Bumble or Tinder thinking she was going to be banging and then you meet her in person and you're like, what the fuck? Every time? <laughs> every time? <laughs> no, he's not, though. <laughs> he's, he's that guy who falls for it. <laughs> Yoho, you're only hot online, okay? But all of this just goes to show, dude, people, they value what they see online more heavily than what they get offline. Okay, so here's what you do to create overnight celebrity status. You create a one-page website about yourself. You pay someone on Craigslist $50, a professional photographer, to take badass pictures of you, or a lot of photographers just want to beef up their portfolio so they will take professional headshots and pictures of you for free. Put a couple of those pictures, you write a three paragraph biography about yourself that makes you sound badass, which is easy to do, okay? And then you make it your name at dot com. So whatever your name is, dot com. Jason Capital, dot com. Most likely no one owes your name, no one owns your, the, so it's, it's $10.99 on GoDaddy to buy a URL. Maybe $50 to $0 to have someone take professional pictures of you. And then another 50 bucks, you go on a website called upwork.com, U-P-W-O-R-K.com, to hire a freelancer from India or the Philippines or somewhere like that, a programmer. Say, here's the pictures I want, here's the, the text I want on it, um, here's someone else's website, because there's hundreds of them now, you can just be like, I want it to look like his. For less than $100, you're now a celebrity. Every girl you meet is gonna Google your name, she's gonna find that website, she's gonna be like, damn, this dude's a badass. All your friends are gonna see it, damn. It's funny, like you'll be at dinner with your friends and they'll like talk shit about you, right? And then you put up the website that night and they read it and they're like, damn, he's a big deal. I shouldn't have said that shit. <laughs> Think 
about that, dude. Because they value what is online more than what is offline. <laughs> Next time they see you at dinner, they're like, yo, let me pick up the check, man. Like, I got you. I got you. How's life, dude? Yeah, God, it must be nice. <laughs> you're like, let's put up a website. Who here thinks that's fucking insane and easy to do and could do it tonight? Who here is going to do that? Okay. Let me just ask, what, like, what is your profession by trade? By trade? Yeah. Uh, IT solutions architect. IT solutions architect. What about you? I'm actually an ice skating coach. No shit. But oh, I'm going to try to get into marketing. Okay. But you could, an ice skating coach, yeah. you, you can make yeah. that sound super badass. What about you? Finance work for Merrill Lynch. Finance for Merrill Lynch. Okay. So each of you could create the site and brand yourself as like the leading expert in that field. That's all you're going to do. You're the leading expert in that field. His clients include this, a graduate of this. He's famous for these things. By the way, that's great terminology to use. Always put he's famous for and then whatever you're, you're best at. But because you said he's famous for, you just implied that you were famous. And the unconscious brain cannot differentiate the two and will just... The girl who reads that, that met you last night at the bar, would be like, damn, he's a famous finance expert. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> it works. It's, it's incredible. Like, you at home, don't tell, like, don't tell anyone about this, okay? I want this to stay on Team Capital. But there's probably a three-year window here where this will, this will work and this will work so well. Okay, maybe five years at the most. Everyone should do this, Okay. Everyone should do this. Um, if you go to Jason Capital, if you go to meetjasoncapital.com, that's where mine is. Who has seen that page? Meetjasoncapital.com, a couple of you. How's it look? It's pretty badass. It's pretty bad. I'm, I'm like, dude, we did a professional photo shoot in Vegas. So you go to Vegas, right? I don't know where you guys live, but you can get cheap plane tickets to Vegas. Uh, I rented a stretch Hummer limo, 22 person Hummer limo, like a big ass one, which by the way, only costs $120 an hour. So I had it for one hour. Okay, middle of the day, Took the photographer, went in the limo. I had two bottles of champagne with me. Went into the, the limo. We went into the fucking desert near Red Rocks. Parked it on the side. So there's like mountains and desert and it's beautiful. And I climb on top of the Hummer and I'm like dancing up there and I'm drinking and I'm doing all kinds of crazy shit and we're taking pictures. Now I put those online and people, like everyone has seen that picture where my, I'm like sitting on top of the, the Hummer in the desert with like the glass of champagne just like contemplating life. Who is like, that's a badass fucking picture. Right? Why can't you do that? Don't copy that, actually. <laughs> Go somewhere else. Go to the forest, all right? <laughs> that's all it takes, though. Okay, that's all it takes. Um, we're actually considering, I'm not inviting anyone to do this right now. I just kind of want to get an idea of who would be interested. We're considering doing like a one-day thing at the compound where I have uh, like the one-page celebrity, basically a template already pre-made with my, my coder is already there. So we buy your domain right there. We write your biography for you to make you sound super badass. I'm a photographer there. So you take pictures at like the pool or the nightclub. Um, and by the time you walk out the door, your site is already up. Who would be interested in doing that? Okay, that's, that's a, okay. So we'll talk about that later. I don't know. It's still a seed. Message!